Hey, it's the Frank student here, and today we're going to be doing a simple Java FX program where we'll be creating a, a Hello World version with a GUI. So first of all, let's create a new project. And we'll create a Java FX project. We would just call it Hello World Java FX. The name doesn't matter really, but let's keep it inside this window and look through our files. We've got a main, a controller, and a sample. So we need to remember every time we create a new JavaFX program, we need to first check rather than not the library is set up correct. It's not. So I would add project, I would find my JavaFX files. Go inside my lib folder and apply. And I would check my VM options. And I just got my VM options, and they will always all also be in the description. <laughs> always. So, first of all, we just need to change the path to JavaFX SDK. So, I would just go find the specific JavaFX file we downloaded, go into my lib folder and copy paste the file position and put it here and we should now be able to click apply okay and be able to run the basic javafx application there we go so what we want to do is right now we're actually just creating a simple hello world empty application which is done by we just remove our project structure. So when we have JavaFX, we first have a main class that extends an application class, which is part of the JavaFX library. And if we mouse over, we're able to see it's a public abstract class called application. And then we override a, a, a method from application and we put in some basic information of the JavaFX. First of all, what we do is JavaFX is based on kind of like a system where we got some a parent, a stage, and a scene. We have the scene, and these are like the, the, the folder structure of JavaFX. It's a bit confusing, but I will do a video on like the general structure of JavaFX. If you want to enjoy, there will probably be a link in the description. But for now, just remember we create a root, and this root contain our GUI element. So we get this GUI element by actually using fxml loader. All this is pre-created already when you just create any fxml um, project in Java, in um, IntelliJ. So don't worry too much about this, but you just need to understand the basics of it. fxml loader that loads, get a class, get a resource from a specific file, file destination, and it is just called F yeah, sample.fxml. And it is this one we're actually accessing. And then we just set our primary stage title to Hello World. And we create our stage to have this scene, which is a new scene that contains the GUI element of our root, which is our FXML document. And then we have a ratio, which is the size of the window. So for now, it would be 300 by 275 pixels which is this. But I would actually like to remove this because we will actually be using our FXML document to determine the size. So right now we just create a, a scene based on our root, which is based our, on our FXML document, which is this. And how we're actually changing our FXML document, we're not going to be coding it. We're actually going to be using the uh, scene builder, which is the application. I also got a video description how to download scene builder. But for now, this is the basic setup, and then we just show our stage. So now let's get into Scene Builder. And inside Scene Builder, we would just open our. Let's first think of what we're going to open. We're going to open our sample.fxml. So we're going to find our fxml, sample.fxml, because this is actually just a fxml document. So when we do go into a sample fxml so 
So now I'm inside a scene builder. I'll just go file and open and I would find the specific file we're in. So I saved it inside my local disk. I got a folder called software and then we've got hello world GFX, source, sample and sample FXML. There we go. So for now it's just an em empty FXML page that contains a grid pane, which just means we could put something in it, but let's just delete it for now. I don't like a grid pane. I actually prefer using something called an anchor pane. And I would just drag it into our screen. So our anchor pane is just a simple pane where you can anchor anything you want anywhere. So it's based on coding it. So I'll be able to drag anything in there and I can place it wherever I want to. So I would just, would just like to place a bottom, for example. And right now the button is just named bottom. We can change it here if we want. But then also what's actually very important is we can go into our code part. So we could say on a specific action. So I would do on mouse. So this is drag drops, keyboard, this is mouse. I would do on mouse clicked. I would simply call. So now I'll be determining the name of a method I'll be calling when this button button is clicked. So I would just create a function called print hello world. There we go. Just put this in the middle of the screen. And always remember to first of all control S, save. Or you can just save up here. And then we would also need to actually get the controller part. So right now inside um, IntelliJ, inside our code, we could be uh, creating a scene in an FXML document. We are getting the button. But as you can see, we're getting an error saying on mouse clicked activate print hello world method, but this method doesn't exist. And then where are we going to put it? So we're going to put it inside our controller class. So our controller class contains all the basic element of our GUI. So it's like the connection between a program and the GUI. But actually, Scene Builder got a very smart function where we can go view, show sample controller skeleton. So this is how the controller should be by now if it has not been determined. And actually, it's telling us that we should please provide controller class name. So first of all, I'll just go into controller. And we'll see where is the controller. It is placed inside sample. Sample dot controller. There we go. And we would say view sample controller. And we would just copy all of this. Go back to IntelliJ. And inside a controller, delete this and copy. And we need to import FXML options. And we need to import mouse event. So if it's red, you can just mouse over it and just import class. A mouse event class. And we would do the first one that's just called jrfx.scene.input. And now we would just like to run the program. And there we go, we get a simple GUI, contains a button. Whenever we click the button, we print hello world to our console. And this is just a very simple hello world version of the GUI type, kinda, built in JavaFX with Scene Builder and IntelliJ. Thank you very much for listening, see you soon and have a nice day.